All right, hello and welcome back in the last episode. In case you missed it, we continued trying to find all the pieces for our lovely electrical panel so we can open up a cell full of zombies so we can get a key card to potentially escape. We got a little lawless in the last episode, part of the journey, but we are going to continue exploring. As always, we are going to be moving relatively slow. I mean, there's, you know, our once boss. I still haven't taken him out. And we are going to be listening for footsteps. It's like the most terrifying ASMR. Also, we are trying to get into, we don't have that key, uh, here, which I was looking at the map. It looks like I just honestly just go on these stairs, which leads me right to it. I'm trying to get the Magnum or the Desert Eagle, which is a Magnum, I mean. Hopefully, we'll get it sooner rather than later. Or at least uh, an idea of how open to safe. Everybody, stay still. Do -do -do. Yeah, down the stairs we go. Really hoping nothing comes out of the woodwork, because your boy is uh, very terrified. Also, I remember going down this way, too, but I think I was being chased by the tyrant, or as we call him, our favorite buddy. I just decided to call him that because, you know, it's my playthrough. I can call him whatever the hell I want. Yeah, perfect. Ah, I don't have any boards, do I? Barnacles. Okay. Well, hopefully nothing will pop up here, he says in a Resident Evil game. Is it useless now? Yes, thank you. Oh, man. Mm, that's rough. It's a rough way to go. Confiscation report, 6211. Okay, that's a safe combination, obviously. Alright, reason for confiscation. A swish man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Remarks, it's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hanson, age 39, said the resident, single, and regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy, per se, just a bit of bird brain klepto. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. 6 to 11. I mean, there's only one other safe that we know about, which is... Where are you? Is it an observation room? No, that's where I am currently. The waiting room. I think that's the only other one. There's a dial lock. There's the PC that we can't open. And there's another dial lock. That's to jump over, I'm assuming. Hey! We have a jewel box. I really don't feel like jumping over here because I'm. I'm afraid something bad's gonna happen to me. You know what? It looks like I was wrong. Oh, shotgun ammo. Thank you. Is this still locked or can I open it from this side? Nope. Still locked. Alright, so this is all good. I still have to find a key to get in here. Or. I mean, yeah, because you get in here, and then you get to view all this stuff. So I think I have enough key items to progress the game. Ah, please don't be here. I knew you were going to be there. Scared the living crap out of me, dude. I guess the jewel box is a key item. This is safe right here, isn't it? Alright, cool. Six left, two right, eleven. Got it.
Nice. What is it? A muzzle break. A custom part from Matilda that reduces recoil, recoil and muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gas up and away from the barrel. No idea what that means, but cool. It looks fancy. I am half tempted to take out the three burst, but it is useful. Not for his three burst capability, but it allows you to go into like that critical area, low passer. Well, there's nothing else for me to do here then. Again, the dialogues can't do anything about PC. We probably well, there's the key card that we're going for anyways. So, and yeah, and everything else requires a hard key. So, let's run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're here. You heard my footsteps. I could have just done it nice and soft, but whatever. It's open enough that I can outrun him. Why is this still here? What is this? Anything good? A star's badge. What is this? A US. Oh! Ho -ho. Nice. Alright. So now to get to that, we need. Up the stairs. We go through the library. Lounge. Okay. Cool. Damn, I kind of wish we would have went nice and sleepy now. Ah, screw it. I did not realize it was that close. I saw that little twitch. Is there a liquor around here? This is a nice place to get trapped. I still need this? Apparently I do. Yeah, I hear him. He's right on my ass. Well, they're just stars members. <clears throat> To my best of stars, buds. How are you all doing in this drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Okay. Bet you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Weird. Europe is amazing. One month is no way. Scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry. Yeah, so you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield. Is there anything else here? No. And there's a shower room. I'm not sure what else I need this USB for. Uh, I mean, I'll hold on to it. I kind of have to, honestly. Something else here? No? I mean, I already got what I kind of needed. The shoddy. I mean, the, the mag. Gas operated, which is unusual for a semi auto handgun. Gives it both power and accuracy. And if I combine these two. Oh. Oh, I need a high power. Okay, well, that was. I want to say stupid, but kind of inefficient. Because mag ammo is uh, super hard to come by. So, I think now we are good. Honestly, we both know I'm just delaying going back into the prison. Because uh, your boy's terrified. I didn't miss this. Unfortunately. Which is uh, a bummer. But I'm not running back to over there. 
because there is a liquor over there. Let's take this up just in case my boy wants to come around the corner and surprise me with some violence. I hear him, but I don't know where. I think I'm going towards him. I'm almost positive I'm going towards him. It's funny, the first time I played this game, because I never played it on the original system, well, I kind of did, but I was a kid, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So the first time I played this on the modern version, I did not know he heard footsteps. So I was just literally running away from him, and uh, he was just finding me. And I was like, how the hell did he find me? Never knew. Anyways. Is this the fastest way to get down there? Yes. Cool. Let's put a little fire in the wheels. And it's over here. Was that big boy? Well, somebody's upset. All right, he can't track us down here. I say that with all the confidence of a tissue in a rainstorm. Because I have no idea if he can actually track us down here or not. That's still locked. To the jail we go. No doggies. You know, someone brought up it would be more terrifying if these Doberman were Chihuahuas. And I can't get that picture out of my head now. It's like, just there. I'm just watching. They, I wish they would have made a mod for it. That would have been awesome. It's like little Chihuahuas just running around trying to bite your ankles. Now the question is, do I have a grenade, actually? I do not. Damn, I, what I would give for a grenade. I could shoot these guys. But... I really don't want to. Waste of bullets if I don't have to. I'm pretty sure I have all the parts. If not, then I have no idea where to look, to be honest. Because I kind of... Actually, I think I might be missing something. I think I am, actually. Barnacles. I am not known for my puzzle abilities. So that's one. Okay. No, it has to go this way. Oh, actually, I could. Yeah, no, it has to go this way. And this has to go that way. Hmm. This has only two modes. Pretty sure I'm still missing some parts. Obtained electrical part. Obtained. I mean, I don't know where else I can honestly go. I've kind of searched everything. I don't have a key card, which is unfortunate. That door is locked. 
so that doesn't really matter. Oh, I did not go to the underground facility. T-bar handle slot. Do I have a T-bar handle? Special weapons case. Definitely want that, but that's also locked. Looks like I am missing one then. But no, because it only needs two, so I think I'm just messing up the puzzle. Somehow. Ben's memo. What do you guys say in your final days? Uh, the station's swarming with monsters. Okay. Even... Okay, someone just beeped outside my door. Even here, I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant, the ultimate bioweapon, developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. Why not name them? If you know you're gonna end, uh, meet your end, why not just name them? Umbrella. I think that that might be wandering around here. Chances are they ordered to wipe out the witnesses. Oh, they gave me healing. We all know what happens when I pick this up, don't we? Barnacles. Uh, huh? That man's got a tape recorder. Yeah, that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental. Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship umbrella setup. <laughs> Come on, that, that nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Where did you hear about this? And that big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are you gonna talk to me? Or are you gonna? The interview is over. <laughs> Bitch. Wow. Salty sailor talk right there, mate. Alright, so I have... How the hell did he even get this? One, seven, eight, three, three, two. Oh, that never means anything. Hmm. What are they after? Shotgun time! Shit! Am I dead? Almost. Alright, that took care of that, I suppose. Let's use this because it gives us a little extra shield. And off we go. You mother. Okay. I paused it at the perfect time. I'm gonna take this hit. There's no way I can avoid it. Can you. Ah, dick. Am I still good? Thank you. Can I avoid that? I only have one shotgun shot left. You are one ugly bastard. Yeah. This is getting old. Save 
saving your ass. That's twice. Appreciate it, babe. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're me. Bro, if a truck didn't Nothing stop dies him. Down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here. How do you crash a truck into a concrete wall and not even your glasses come out? I feel like uh, that's a bit of BS. We might want to open the shutter. Uh, you might want to take this bullet to the head. You talk to me like that again. The disrespect is not necessary. Oh, there's a dog going crazy outside. All right. Well, now that we have our way out, maybe. I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, in the next one, we will open the shutter and see what spookiness comes out of the woodwork. As always, if you do like the episode or if you just like that dog consistently barking in the background, do consider hitting a like and a subscribe. Great with support channel. Great with help grow. And I will check you out in the next one. Peace.